So what we're doing down here today is drilling the test wells to indicate the presence or absence of nitrogen pollution in the groundwater here in the Sherwood Forest community at the mouth to the Brewer Pond in Round Bay. We're so pleased to be working with the Sherwood Forest community on this project. Sherwood's been a great partner and a pioneer on so many conservation efforts within the Severn River that it seemed like a natural fit. If we find elevated nitrogen like we're expecting, then we can install a permeable reactive barrier, which is basically a screen underground of wood chips that will denitrify the polluted groundwater and turn it into an inert nitrogen gas. And that way we'll be able to keep nutrient pollution out of the Severn River, reducing algae blooms, fish kills, and all the other problems that the total maximum daily load is designed to prevent. We've contracted with Tidewater Incorporated to drill the test wells because they have the expertise both in terms of the technical aspects of the work and the geology aspects to interpret the sediment samples that we're taking from the surface all the way to 24 feet below the surface. These wells remain in place for a year before we build the permeable reactive barrier so that we can establish a baseline of water quality. We'll be coming back every three months to take samples throughout that first year, understand the ambient levels, and that way, if we put a permeable reactive barrier here, we'll be able to assess its efficacy in the long term and quantify the amount of nitrogen we're keeping out of the river.